Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you to all who like, share, and subscribe my videos. I, uh, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. So let's get into episode two, A Prepared Citizen. Flashbangs and their use cases. preface this video, um, I, everything that uh, up to this point um, I have paid with my own money, uh, including these flashbangs. I use all of my own uh, funds to pay for these videos. So uh, a comment came up, I feel like uh, it might be necessary to start uh, prefacing my videos with that. So moving forward, uh, I purchased some flashbangs to kind of test them. Um, and they are under the, uh, the use cases of uh, civilians and why uh, uh, a civilian may want uh, a flashbang and uh, what kind of use cases they could see themselves using them in. Uh, so these are uh, purchasable by civilians. Um, anyone uh, can just go to a website and, and purchase these. They are not the... Uh, full spec, uh, full power flashbangs, but they are still absolutely usable. Um, the decibel rating and the flash rating still absolutely usable. Uh, there's no reason these would not be effective in the use cases that I lay out before you. So getting into that, uh, these are from IWA. Before you purchase them, you do have to uh, uh, take a test, so to speak. Um, they're uh, checking for your knowledge and your uh, your safety knowledge and your use knowledge of the devices. Um, check to make sure that you know uh, safe distances, uh, how to deal with duds, things of that nature. Once you've taken that test, which it is free, uh, you do get your cert certification. Once you have your certification, you're able to purchase these. Same day, no problem. You literally take your test and uh, get a code and you can purchase them from that point. They are, um, they vary in price. They are not cheap by any means. You can expect to spend anywhere between $30 and $50 for the flashbangs. Uh, they do have uh, uh, simulation uh, devices for like airsoft and stuff like that too. Um, but uh, I was uh, less interested in those and more interested in if these would be effective for uh, a civilian to use. So, what would be the use cases, right? You know, why would uh, anybody want a flashbang? And what uh, what order would they see themselves using them? Well, flashbangs would be uh, very, very handy in uh, in a uh, collapse situation. Again, this is a prepared citizen episode, so we're talking about preparedness and prepping, um, and the equipment that you uh, could potentially use to be a force multiplier. Um, as history has shown and the data from that history, we've seen that a lot of times in natural disasters and uh, uh, collapse situations that creates uh, uh, civil unrest and rioting, um, being able to defend yourself is incredibly important. There's looting, there's uh, break-ins, and there's also just scared people uh, all running in one direction. So being able to use less than lethal force to essentially clear a path or protect yourself to escape is the biggest 
reason that uh, these would come in handy. You might find yourself in a situation where a riot breaks out and you need to uh, egress from that location, but uh, it's dangerous. You may find yourself being accosted by a group of people, you know, anywhere from, from two to a half dozen, all the way up to a dozen people. Um, there are plenty of videos out there that, that showcase this in uh, all its uh, horrible uh, view. So what would you do in a situation where you're trying to get yourself and potentially your family out of a dangerous situation and you have multiple people approaching you, uh, but you're not quite at lethal force yet, um, of course. Keeping lethal force on you is a good idea, but uh, having non-lethal means of protecting yourself and uh, distracting someone long enough to get away. So the best use case for flashbang would be to uh, to deploy this and have enough distraction to create more distance between you and attackers, um, between you and the large crowd of people. Uh, and you may think that these might not work, but they are incredibly effective at uh, dispersing people or at least slowing them down long enough for you to make your move out of there. You know, as, as a civilian, you're, you're, you're obviously not looking at, uh, or at least I would hope not, looking at purchasing a flashbang because you see yourself kicking down doors and uh, flashing somebody before you uh, make entry. That is, that's not, that's not realistic to think about. Um, in a lot of cases, it, from uh, what the data and the history has shown us, that uh, being in full kit with a rifle is really unlikely. I mean, let's look at Hurricane Katrina. Uh, they were setting up roadblocks and checkpoints. They were going door to door, guns drawn, confiscating weapons, firearms from citizens all throughout all the neighborhoods. And they had uh, military checkpoints at uh, specific locations for people who were trying to flee the city because the city was rampant with crime. And unfortunately, that military um, and the police officers and the sheriffs had direct orders to stop and confiscate or go door to door and confiscate those firearms. So being overt and having like a plate carrier on and your, you know, your full length rifle out in the open ready to uh, traverse the, the city to, to get to safety, uh, at least in that point in time, uh, is ill to none. Uh, you're likely going to be a target and you will likely find yourself unfortunately injured or worse. So my use case in, in displaying these, uh, these flashbangs is also to show sort of like a uh, concealable low-vis uh, setup. So I would have my uh, ready rig. Uh, this is actually not a ready rig. Uh, this is my uh, homemade version of a ready rig. Um, and my concealed pistol or, uh, or my other concealed pistol. Um, which is more likely uh, that I would be carrying, but I also do find myself carrying my micro 9mm as well. But uh, this one would be much more likely with uh, possibly a, uh, a very small um, 300 blackout rifle in my bag. Uh, but that's even case dependent, you know? So in some situations, you might not even be able to have a ready rig. You might have to use your backpack um, or use your belt line. Take something like this. Take the uh, the front uh, placard off of it. Use just the uh, the elastic band. Tuck it halfway around your uh, your belt line. Then put your uh, your pants and your belt over top of it so you can carry stuff that way. It's really what I imagine um, in a realistic scenario. You know. So I do think that they are an incredibly useful piece of kit. Being able to have a force multiplier that could defend your life without taking it, uh, if that is your uh, 
current uh, SOPs is great. You know, let's say you're evacuating to your vehicle, if you're able to to back them off um, without using lethal or even non-lethal force, with just using your words, uh, great. But I'm also realistic. I know the world and I know people, and uh, you have to be prepared for what might come your way. So I 100% endorse uh, the the use of flashbangs as a civilian. I think they're incredibly effective. The average civilian, uh, the average rider, um, they're going to absolutely run away from that. Uh, the average person uh, trying to invade your home in a home defense situation would absolutely run away from that. So it's just another piece of kit to keep in mind. Another, uh, another tool in the toolbox. Uh, thank you for, for watching. Uh, I, I, again, I, I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, Linktree is in the description. It's going to have my TikTok, my uh, Instagram, uh, also my Patreon, which is something new. I will be adding exclusive content to that Patreon. Uh, that exclusive content will uh, have a list of things. Also, taking, um, uh, taking requests from my Patreon members, uh, if I ever do get any, on uh, what they want to see. You know, again, uh, I, I use my own funds. I don't, uh, I don't have sponsorships. Uh, I haven't accepted any sponsorships that have come my way. I want to try to keep, uh, keep that to a uh, minimum, if uh, at all possible, zero. The only people I want influencing my videos are the ones who watch, um, because you guys are the ones that that are are consuming the content. I want it to be um, curated for you, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm, I know it's not, you know, uh, high level quality right now. We're uh, we're getting there. It's uh, it'll continue to improve. So, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, do all the things, and uh, check me out on the other uh, social media platforms. And if you want extra content like behind the scenes and stuff like that, uh, as well as uh, Patreon exclusive only content, then uh, uh, think about joining. Anyways. Thanks, guys.